miss. Tune in. And anyway, we got uh, res uh, San Antonio resident Chris and Magic. Now Magic, okay. Magic in doubles, bro. So good. It is Wario in doubles. And uh, you know, Wario is not a character that you see on stream every day. You see him here and there, but uh, I can't expect Crips to have this matchup in a bag, you know, down to the T. Just given that he would have to play with this guy all the time. Uh, Magic has taken out some really good players. I think I've seen him be shade before, and is that your stock? Oh boy. Dash attack. Yes, you have to know this matchup uh, fairly well in order to do well. Is that your He's stock gonna again? He's going to get the footstool too. No. Okay. Magic? Oh. I, I guess it's a little bit fair. That was actually well worth it. If I'm Magic, I'm not hurt about that. Hey, man, I just took your stock. I tried to take it again. I didn't get it. I'm still technically ahead. Yeah, eye for eye there. Eye for an eye. But the, this matchup in particular is a little bit difficult for both characters. Uh, DK can't combo Wario because of his floatiness as as hard as he could some fastballers. And Wario not given um, one of its biggest assets in the game, which is time. Which uh, is time. Doesn't have much time to charge the walk where Ding Dong will kill fairly early. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ding Dong does kill relatively early. I would expect that to kill somewhere around the 60 to uh, early 70s, if that. Uh, get out your charts there, people, whoever's watching. Definitely get out your charts if anybody in the chat can let us know when does Ding Dong kill on Wario with that right, amount of right rage. Yeah, well, severely cutting his time to charge a WAF here. Yeah, certainly. I'm not sure that if WAF resets after a stock has been taken. Oh, no, sir. That, that's still going to be online. Okay, so WAF's still online. As you can see, fully charged. This definitely changes the dynamic of the game by some sort. Oh, especially when it stands up with the bike there. Yeah, with the, the bike being there, it extends the hitbox. That was able to catch Diddy, uh, Donkey Kong before he was able to fully snap the ledge. Magic Trying to bait him in with those out. taunts. Will Magic fall for it? I love this type of gameplay. I love this patient. I love the, the patient gameplay because it shows you that both players want to win. No one wants to make that first mistake to give the other the other person an opportunity. Definitely not. And ooh, you can see the tag. Magic is not his first rodeo here with Wario. Oh. Okay, I like that. Crips realizing that the Ding Dong would not kill at that percent. Ops for a neutral air. Maybe he'll get it. Now, one of the biggest Again. advantages that Wario will have is his edge guards on DK. Crips could stay away from the ledge here. That could have been it. This now, is Donkey scary. Now, building more rage. Yeah, being off the stage against Wario after the first stock is definitely not something that's going to be a lot of fun for Crips. If I'm him, I'm staying mid stage. Now, okay, uh, Crips is chomp. running out of time to get his uh, dig chomp. Here. The chomp stubs as a command grab or is a command grab, so he's getting a lot of mileage off of landing all these chomps, making it difficult for Crips to find his footing on the stage. Yeah, now, Crips uh, might have to look for the up tilt coming up pretty soon. I don't think Magic's in range for Ding Dong here. Oh, he's certainly, if, if Magic gets grabbed, he's dead. Oh, okay. Yeah, if Magic gets grabbed, he's certainly dead. You can see that he's playing that anti-grab gameplay. He just wants to get the chomp, throw him off stage, potentially set up for that dash attack kill again. And Crips already um, are pretty aware. Wow. Uh, oh. I guess more aware I, than I thought. Yeah, I definitely thought that uh, Magic would have been able to DI that one to the left. I'm not sure. Maybe he was about to run away. And Crips was like, hey, where are you going? Catches him with the good old fly fly trap and uh, sends that man pack. He gave one going to Crips. Yeah, caught him slipping. Caught him slipping. That happens so often. You'll see someone runs the opposite way, and before they're able to get where they're going, they just get hit with something. The game registers their DI that way, and they just whoo, launch off the stage so quick. Now, uh, Crips now more prone to using uh, the giant punch than uh -oh. anti-air warrior. This is scary. Still scary. Oh, he's off stage. Not where you want to be. This is this is still an edge guard situation until Crips is able to land successfully on the ground. As you can see. 72. Shield there. Um, however, going to even it back out. Yeah, this is the name of the game, okay? Crips can get so much damage and get so much mileage off of grabbing magic. But he tried when to throw Crips off his DI is, there. Yeah, he's trying to throw off his DI. Now that's your stock. Yep. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to get grabbed there. You want to stay away. But I was going to say, um, 
when DK is in disadvantage, Magic gets so much work done. But on the flip side of that, once he gets grabbed, that's your stop. So you have to play a slow, patient anti-grab game, tack on as much damage as you can. Go for the dash attack, go for the edge guard opportunities. And probably go for the timeout. Go for the timeout if you can, or wait for the Waff to be online, because you don't want to grapple with DK. If you give him that opportunity to grab you, he'll end your stock much sooner than you can end his. Yes, sir. Now, if he and uses the recover low here, has the bike to help him. The throw's not going to kill, though. Bike toss, back air. Doesn't go for anything there, just kind of waits it out patiently. DK's at really high percent, so the next heavy hit should take a stock. Also, with max rage, I'm not sure if Wario's still in the Is this your stock? Yes. I think Ding Dong would have killed there at that rage. I'm not 100% sure. But I would not want to be magic in that situation. Ooh, gets the re good stuff from Cribs. He is certainly feeling himself at this point in time. Okay, now Giant Punch is online. Um, Magic's going to have to be a lot more careful. Again, going for this back here. It's a relatively safe move, assuming that your opponent doesn't punish you for what you do after. This and is the second chomp. time he's gotten with the uh, bite there. Magic is getting a lot of mileage from this chomp play, but not able to close out a stock. Edge Guardian only gets you so far. Here. Oh, but toys by his yes. own I love the way the bike extends hitboxes, man. It really is useful. Get hit again. I wouldn't even be surprised if that was... Oh, yeah. Oh. Not quite yet. I like the patience from Magic, okay? He finally is able to close out that stock, but if I'm Crips, I'm not worried. You finally took my stock at 240. Thanks, man. I wasn't able to convert at that percent anyway. Uh-oh, this is scary. Uh, probably the most damaging thing he can do there. Pardon me. Um, okay, slowly bringing this back. So now I've learned something about the properties oh, of Oh, almost whapped at that air dodge there, but missed. I'm learning a bit more about Wario. It looks like he has some sort of priority on his up tilt. His hands, those gloves are probably made out of some evil material. Not sure about intangibility on up tilt, but I think up smash for sure has some. Uh, it's a, definitely a good anti air against a character that has trouble landing like DK. Are you but dead? you shouldn't be on the platform like that. Definitely do not want to get caught there again. You do not want to get grabbed. You actually do not want to do anything wrong. You must play perfectly until the end of time if you don't want to lose this game here. Now, speaking of time, there's going to be 4 minutes, 30 seconds left. If, if oh boy, yeah. it doesn't get the round. Yeah, he went for it all. Um, Good stuff to Cribs. He played that matchup. Damn near to perfection. He wasn't able to get anything uh, magic that